Parents, do you ever find yourself frustrated with your kids because they you just don't think that they're listening to you? Well, I have a good karma tip for you. It's pretty simple. First, let me paint a little picture. Let's just say it's a Friday night and your kids are heading out for the evening. And as they as they head out the door, you say, be home by midnight, right? We've all heard that. We've all done that, right? Now, what's even more painful, more frustrating, more makes you more angry than anything is when they come home at two or three o'clock in the morning. So the next morning, sleeping in late, you go in and you shake them and pull them out of the bed and you say, we had an agreement that you were going to be home at midnight. I wanted you home at midnight. Well, the reality is that's not the case. The reality is, is that you did not have a clear agreement with them. You made the assumption that they heard you, and you made the assumption that they agreed with you. The reality is, they didn't. They have a different perspective. So what I want to encourage you to do is to take the time to sit down with them and establish clear boundaries and come to an agreement. Whether it's, whether it's you know, doing the chores or being home at midnight or whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. As I did work with teens and parents, this is probably one of the biggest problems that I uh, saw with parents and teens is that they didn't have clear communication and have clear agreements, right? It's critically important. So I just encourage you to take the time. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing that's frustrating. It's so much easier to just call to them, be home at midnight, and it's, it, it's, you're done, and they're gone, and you feel like you've done your thing, right? It's so much more difficult to say, hey, come here. I want to sit down and talk to you for a little bit before you leave. Oh, mom, oh, dad, what do you mean? You know, right? I mean, right? Okay, that's what happens. But once you get in the pattern of establishing a, a routine of getting really clear with them about agreements, the easier it is for them to want to do that. For example, for me, when I say to them, look, we can sit down and the quicker you focus with me and, and have a dialogue with me, the quicker you're out of here. Now, we can do it in two minutes or we can be, for, be here for half an hour. So it's up to you. Do you want to be out of here in two minutes or you want to be belaboring this thing for the next half an hour? So sit down with them and say, I'd like you to be home at midnight. Now, most likely, you're going to get a reaction, and they're going to say, no, I don't want to be home at midnight. I, my friends are doing this and doing that, and I want to be out till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, Mom. They're all, you know, if I leave at midnight, they're all, I'm, you know, no, I'm, I'm not going to do that, okay? So here's the tough part. Here's the really tough part. It's called negotiating, right? So you have to ask yourself, why is midnight important? to you, and why is two o'clock important to them? And you need to be able to verbalize your concerns and your reasoning. In my opinion, it's not okay to say, because I'm your mom, do what I say because I'm your dad. That does not fly. The most important thing is for you to be able to articulate reasonably your concerns. Now, of course, those concerns are totally unimportant and frivolous to them. So they're going to come back with you with their point of view, their side of the story, their argument, and you need to hold them accountable for your concerns about their point of view, right? For example, it might be simply something like, my concern about you staying out till 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning is that's when there's more drunks on the road and I'm more concerned about you being on the road at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Now, really? That's a reasonable concern. And if you can articulate that to them, they might buy it. Now, I'm getting very micro about this, but I'm using this as an example. Now, this applies to many different circumstances, but the point here is this is where the compromise 
and the negotiation comes into play. Because when it comes to your concerns, a reasonable compromise would be, I'm okay if you're out till 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, but can you please not be on the road after midnight? Can you please go to a friend's house or be somewhere where you're off the road at a certain time? Think about it. It's a way in which that you can find compromise, negotiate, but most importantly, whether this situation applies to you or there's others, the key to all of this, what I'm trying to convey to you is the most important thing is to have agreements with your kids in advance, prior to the event, not after the event, not after it's taken place and you're upset. They're frustrated. They don't want to talk to you. You don't want to talk to them. Polarization, boom, not a good thing. So the next time you feel that you've made a good stab at having an agreement, think about it. Have both parties verbally acknowledged and agreed to the terms of the agreement. Try it out. I think you'll find an improvement. It may not be perfect. It might not make you mother or father of the year, and it may not eliminate your frustration, but the key point here is make an effort to have an agreement prior to the event so that both people understand where each person's coming from. This is Mark Hughes with your Good Karma Tip. As we continue to explore conscious solutions to our world's most pressing problems, be a part of the conversation and subscribe to our Karma Talks channel. Thank you.